All right, guys. Well, welcome back. Today, it's time for a review. So today's review is going to be of the Lumineer Chief Racing Quadcopter 5-inch frame. So this one just recently got released. This one is made by Alex Campbell Chief, as you guys might know him. This is a 5-inch racing frame, and uh, Lumineer Getafe would be... Yeah, sorry. Get a was kind enough to send this to me to, to give it a test and give it a review. Um, so I had seen this a while back, um, a couple weeks ago, with Alex when he was racing up in Knoxville. And I got a look at it and I really, really liked it. I've been looking for a frame for me to use for, for all of my rigs. So, um, as you can see, I already built one up and uh, I really, really like the frame. So, let's go ahead, open this sucker up, um, and then we'll talk about what's inside. All right, guys, so from left to right, let's start here. So you have right here, this is your battery pad that will go on the bottom of your battery, um, on the bottom of your bottom plate. This is your bottom plate as well. Here is the top plate, which I really like what they did. They put Chief right in there, and that looks pretty good. I like that. Nice little addition. This is the other bottom plate that will screw in. Um, with the arms, they'll pinch off. I'll show you how that all goes. And the hardware is already... Um, put into the frame so it looks already well done so you don't have to do that there so those are already fashioned and pressed into there for you next you have the hardware so here you have 30 miller 30 millimeter um, screws that'll go in that's for your hardware putting all your flight controller your ESCs all that stuff will slide onto there which is awesome Then you have about 25 of these six millimeter um, button head screws which worked and then these are your actually these are nine millimeter actually when you measure them um, these will these are the ones that are going to cinch down your your arms as well so and then last but not least I forgot this cup so you have your hardware here which has your standoffs so if we measure these guys out grab one of them this is going to measure out at about 25 25 millimeter standoff so right even well, look at that but yeah that's that they also come with camera mounts as well and you can see in there and then some rubber grommets as well for your for your flight control to help with the uh, the soft mounting there. So that's pretty sweet. Um, so those are all the components. So also, oh I forgot, last but not least, this amazing Kevlar shot from Luminaire. This is pretty pretty rigid on my other quad. I already have it, been using it and it works great with that metal clasp which I absolutely love and really appreciate. So that's a pretty heavy duty strap there and I really like it so I'm gonna have to get me some more of those for sure um, for spares um, for my other quads. So the main thing I want to look at here are the arms. As you can see um, what I really love about this frame is that it has only two holes as you can see these other ones right here. So there's only two hole or two screws in order that you have to remove. Actually you only need to remove one and you just loosen this one here to really re replace an arm which is really amazing and I really really like that. The other thing here is you'll notice as well that there are only three um, uh, motor mounting screws. So you have just one, two, and then three, and then the middle here for your uh, for the middle of the motor. So not that big of a deal. Pretty awesome. What this thing really goes for is lightweight, and I'll show you guys the weight once we get it on the scale, have it built up. So that's something I really, really appreciate. Let's go ahead and build this guy. It's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory, but let's go ahead and get to that in three, two, one. There she blows! Alright guys, so this honestly did not take me a long time to build. This only took maybe 10 minutes. It's very simple, pretty simple. You can't get everything mixed up or put on the wrong way. Except for the top plate, that's the only thing that's really directional. Everything else is very symmetrical so you can build it and not have to worry about um, screwing it up. So, the thing that I like about this frame especially is that Alex allows everyone to either have, you can do a 30 by 30 stack um, which I, this is what I pretty much use, so 30-30, so any of your typical um, race flight, other um, beta flight boards, more than welcome to do that. And then also, if you want to, you can also use the 20-20, um, 20 by 20 boards as well, which is very, very awesome. I really like that option, because for me, I still have all 30 by 30s. I haven't migrated to the 20 by 20 yet, just because I have a whole bunch of 30 by 30 working parts, so I have no um, real need to switch over to 20 20 um, which I might later just for convenience's sake as far as saving weight. But the thing about having a 30 by 30 if you're going to do that because... Um, here, let me open up a spare arm. So spare arms also, pretty awesome. They're only five bucks. 
which is a very, very good price. Um, considering the prices of other spare arms like for Astro X and stuff, they get a little bit pricier. So, if you're going to use the 30x30, 30 30, you are going to be putting the 30 millimeter screw into this hole, which is a bit of an inconvenience. So, if you're using 30x30, 30 30, you are going to have to um, undo the very, very long screw, the 30 millimeter screw. So, um, if you're like me and you have one of these DeWalt's, like I showed you guys a long time ago, you should have bought one by now. Um, it'll be a lot easier for you guys to switch out um, a thing because these aren't able to slide out because of that. This mounting screw right here won't allow you to slide it in and out, but having this DeWalt or any other electric is going to make changing that a lot easier for your 30x30s. Um, if you're using the 20 by 20 stack, your 30 millimeter screw is going to be where the slit goes, so that'll make things a lot easier. So you'll just have to loosen this one and then pull it out for the 20 by 20. But for the 30 by 30, again, you guys are going to be a little bit having a little bit longer of an arm change, but again, it's not the worst thing in the world. Like I showed you, it's pretty simple to change out. But that's all you need of those two things, and then all of them they meet in the middle, and then. I think this is something wrong with the packaging. Um, they are missing a fifth 9mm screw. That's the only thing really. So what I did, I got me a flat 10mm um, button head. Um, not a button head, the flat ones. Um, that just slide in for the fifth and that pulls or pinches all the arms together. So that's the only thing there. Um, I put it on the bottom of this belt one so you see nice and shiny. But it's there and it's barely poking up past the rubber show. It's not the worst thing in the world. So if you're like me, you have a lot of spares of those 10 mils, um, then that's not going to be that big of a deal. Um, and then that's basically it. It has camera mounts, um, those there, but I don't use them. Um, Ryan, the guy, Ryan Harrell from Mini Quad Tech Spence, the guy who designed this whole thing. He's designed the Xylo Freak frame. He designed the Freak Style as well, that new Freestyle frame that Xylo just came out. Um, which I hope to test as well pretty soon because that's a pretty sweet looking frame for a very cheap price for a freestyle frame. Um, he designed all these. He also designed the camera mount and then I designed a VTX camera mount and then he also designed the fin that goes on top. So if you need any of those, I'll have those to the links. I'll put those a link in the description to our Thingiverse pages. You can find those and print those. Those are pretty cheap. Um, as far as weight, let's go ahead and get the scale out. And weigh all these little guys here so first let's just do the whole frame Ooh, there's my puppy all up weight just the hardware and everything is going to be 60 Ooh, look at that 64 grams and then if you throw on the battery strap voila 73 grams then obviously as you go up and up and up um it gets a little bit weightier um each individual arm is about eight grams there so not that big of a deal pretty sweet as well um so let's take all of those off pull this out of the way and then as far as other measurements go um, let's look at arm thickness as well because that's a pretty important factor that everyone kind of looks at so as far as arm thickness goes we're gonna be about four millimeter in thickness pretty thick but um, pretty standard it's not five mil but this sucker is pretty sturdy I just screw these in not super tight but they're very very stiff now also, when you're building this frame, make sure that you get these points facing forward. Um, that's how they're supposed to go, so that way it's kind of a little bit of a motor guard when you're impacting something. Um, this fourth motor mount doesn't really need to be there because that's something that's not really going to get hit. It's all going to be pretty much on these little guys. So front and back, just make sure you put those on correctly. And then that's basically it for just those parts of the frame. Um, Pretty thick, very sturdy. And then let's go ahead and look at oh, the full belt. So this is my blue version. I made, I'm gonna just call it blue still for why not? So you um, Zoolander for guys, you know what I'm talking about. So like I said, this is a camera mount here that Ryan printed out. This has a Foxier Predator um, that uh, mini and it works great, not the mini, the micro. Um, the micro and it fits great into there. Pretty good camera coverage, you can see. It's pretty well protected. And then the VTX mount in the back that I designed as well, that's back there. And then you have the fin that he designed. Everything looks pretty well. Everything fits in there pretty well. So I've got the Xylo 45 amp ESC in there, shoved in there with a uh, 
I'm actually trying beta flight out. Um, just because I wanted to try it out, I have some spare um, flight controller, so I had the 14 F4, so I threw that in there with Crossfire, Crossfire Now, and then, and then a Unified Nano as well. So everything in there um, is pretty fits in there pretty pretty well. Um, as far as weight for the whole get up, um, for me, if I can get a race rig under 300 grams. I'm pretty happy. So the sucker is right at 299. If you guys can, oh, there it is. So 299 grams. Um, these are also running those Zing um, Eco motors, the ones that are like 14 bucks a piece. So I'm pretty happy with this whole setup. Um, I flew it recently, just trying it out the other day at school and at my house, um, just in the field behind my house, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So. Um, also with the motors, the arm length, you are able to run um, 5.1 props. These are some gem fan props that someone gave me a long time ago that I just threw on there because they were blue. And I like the blue. So yeah, these are the 5144Rs, but any one fifty one. So if you use the HQ5141 props, um, they're going to fit that as well. So they're all going to fit on there. If you use the gem fan, Minchan prop 5146, they'll work with the Hurricanes, 5149s, all those. They'll all fit that prop with a lot of clearance and then clearance on the VTX antenna as well so clearance everywhere which is what you need and then uh yeah that's basically it I am very happy with this thing for a price point of $44, $45 um, from GetFPV um, it's one of the cheaper I'll call it Premier Frames on the market like it's it's cheap it's lightweight it's sturdy if you guys seen Chief Race you know how fast he pushes it he goes hard and uh, he doesn't break these arms very often even if you do they're cheap, four or five bucks, and then you can slide them in and out. Quick, easy changes there. But, yeah, guys, that's going to be it. Um, I'll cut to some flight footage, maybe. Um, maybe not. Actually, I'll do a, a, a flight review later, maybe. Um, but, yeah, this is going to do it. Um, I'm very happy with this frame. This is going to be my, uh, my go-to frame. Um, I decided to, to do away with the JS1 frame. It just wasn't my cup of tea. Um, very good frame. I love it. Um, but mod is great with it, but I just want something a bit more that I can um, tinker and have fun with myself, design things like fins and camera mounts and all that stuff. I like to be able to to make it my own. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it. Thanks for, for watching. Um, please let me know what you think. Um, if I forget anything, I'll put that in the description as well. Um, but yeah, I've got this other frame, so I need to build this up. I've got components, so I've got purple zing frames that I'm going to put on and I'm going to call this sucker purple rain I think <laughs> all you prince people know that one as well so I think I'm going to put all those there put that into there but that's going to do it I'd like to thank uh, Luminaire get FB for sending these to me um, putting their trust in me to be able to test these products and give them a, an honest review I'm, I'm pretty happy with it so far I've crashed it a couple times um, and it's held up I haven't actually done it in a race yet maybe I'll be able to do that this weekend in Knoxville um, do some racing with those guys up there and, and give it a, a real run for its money. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, I got some other, hopefully, reviews coming up in the works. I do want to do a full review of my Think Tank section, that DJI Heli Pack that I bought for like 50 bucks off eBay. I've really come to like that bag. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for more uh, reviews coming up. Um, and that's going to do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.